offer. Within four minutes, I had a buyer's purchase this little guy for full asking price of 600. And um, she's probably gonna watch this and be like, that, you know, that. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money plush. Oh, who loves plush? I do. Um, I've sold some big money plush, but I have sold a lot of bread and butter and I love selling plush. So we're gonna talk about items that members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group sold for big money. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and it says, share your best plush bolo. And we're gonna have a few of these videos, so watch for others. And this first one comes from Jersey Shore Thrifter. He said, here is a recent decent plush I found at the local church thrift shop. They charge a dollar for any plush toy. He caught my eye because he was so realistic looking as well as being a big cat. Both of those attributes were recently highlighted as things to look for on Courtney's recent big money plush bolo video. He is correct. Um, this fellow's tag was missing, but the research I did indicated it was made by Best Toy Company. I listed it as such and it sold within a week for full price of 35 plus shipping. This one here paid 25 cents at a yard sale. It is a Webkin Signature Timber Wolf plush Wolf Gans 12 inch no code rare sold it for $75 plus shipping and actually the rebel reseller just sold one of these also if you're not following the rebel reseller this is her youtube channel go sub her up she sells tons of plush you are gonna love her and her husband they are fantastic amazing reseller channel oh my goodness this is one of those squishmallows you want to find now there's a lot of squishmallows that are bread and butter this guy sold for $599 on Mercari. Are you selling on Mercari? If you sell plush, please go get on Mercari because some of the plush sells for way more on Mercari than it does eBay. I do have a link down below. If you use my link to join Mercari, you're gonna get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And that is a referral link, so I get a credit to shop also. So I appreciate it when you guys use my referral links. I have other referral links down in the description. Check it out, they are all things that I use for my business. So um, good stuff down there. So anyway, do you wanna know about the Squishmallow? Which one is it? It sold in less than an hour. And if I remember correctly, the Rebel reseller, I think she had one of these and I think she goofed. And I don't know if she couldn't find comps. I can't remember the whole story. Rebel, if you're watching, was this the one you had? Was this it? I think it was, but I'm not 100% sure. It was a stackable uh, Squishmallow. And I remember watching one of her live shows and she was just kicking herself for selling this thing too cheap. And um, she's probably gonna watch this and be like, that you know that anyway rebel let me know down in the comments i know you're gonna watch this uh anyway it is the squishmallow connor the stackable cow so what makes makes this special it's the stackable cow i don't know if the other stackables do big money or not but the cow 599 dollars and sold in less than an hour after being listed wow Paid 25 cents and sold for $50. It is, this is a uh, figment, I think is who it is. I think, is that figment? It's a Poshmark sale, so I can't see the title. Wah, wah, but I think it's figment. You guys let me know down in the comments. I think I see it on his foot. I think it is. Paid $2 at Savers, sold for $57.95 plus shipping. It is this Disney Cars Squishmallow. So another Squishmallow. Do all Squishmallow sell for big money? No, absolutely not. Look them up. Paid $2 at Savers and sold for $35 plus shipping. This is a Ty Pluffy's Baby Pups Blue Puppy Dog Tylux Plush. 
I did a video about Thai, um, I'm sorry, Thai Pluffies. They are a bolo. Most Thai, like Beanie Babies, but this is a special category off of the Beanie Babies. These are made a little bit differently. And the Pluffies, they just do well. Some do better than others, but 35 bucks for a plush, I'll take that any day. This next one is about to um, knock your socks off. So down in the comments, I mean, that Squishmallow was amazing, okay? So your socks might get knocked off twice in this video. Tell me where did your socks land, okay? We've done this before. Tell me where your socks landed. I want to hear some good ones. Bought this from a thrift store. It's missing its tush tag. Found out after the sale that his name is Risky and he is the smartest of the Douglas Pomeranians. By wa watching Courtney, I did an auction because I literally could not find anything on him. Plus, he had not been sold on eBay for the last two years. I immediately had my phone light on fire from buyers wanting to give me offers of buy it now. I ended the auction immediately, did a $600 buy it now with the auction feature thinking that I would pick the best offer. Within four minutes, I had a buyer's purchase, this little guy for full asking price of $600. She was looking for him for years and was beyond excited. And I received a nice positive feedback. I think I paid less than $5 for him. I even had customers asking me after the sale if I had any more because they had been looking for this one for over 10 years. So what I always say is if you cannot find anything like your item, start an auction and start it high. So probably what I would have done in this situation, if I had multiple offers coming in on an auction... I would have went with whatever the highest one was and I would have changed my auction to that price. I would have, if nobody had bid, you can change your auction start price. So I would have changed it to $600 and I would have let the auction ride, especially if I had had many, many, many offers because more than likely all of these people really want the item. So $600 auction and see where it goes. Now, what she did was still a great idea, but I think I would have done the auction just because of the demand of the response. Okay, the demand of the item because of such a big response from people emailing her and messaging her. I don't know uh, what she started the auction out originally at, but um, I'm guessing, I don't know why anybody, I don't know, maybe they should have just bid on the item, but there probably would have been a bidding war. So either way, I think no matter what, she did not go wrong. Less than $5 into $600. Where are your socks? Hard to find. Douglas Pomeranian Palm Realistic Puppy Dog Plush Gold White Long Haired 10 Inch. Missing the tush tag. Seriously? $600. So cute. Almost forgot to enter this one with my other sold. My pet monster with hole in the horn, scuffs on the teeth, and almost all the vinyl from the hands and feet rubbed off. This thing was not in good condition. Also missing the original handcuffs. Bought from the bins for maybe $1.59 and sold on best offer for $114 plus shipping. Been a good month and learned about this one from watching Bolo Buddies while I list. Thank you for the exciting find, Courtney. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the shout out. You guys, it means so much to me when you guys mention my channel, whether it be here on my Facebook group and other Facebook groups, like that's just credibility. And that's what makes people come check out my channel. And it really means a lot to me. So thank you so much for the shout out. And it is the original My Pet Monster. And this is what it looks like. Purchased at the Goodwill for $2.99 and took a best offer of $125. It is a Build-A-Bear Sun-Kissed Hello Kitty plush complete with the Hawaiian outfit, 2010 rare. And this is what it looks like. Husband spotted this at a local thrift store. We paid $4 and sold it for full asking price in 10 days. It says Trumpy Bear Deluxe 22-inch plush with American flag cape blanket with tags. So I guess it's a bear that looks like Trump. <laughs> no political comments in, no, just don't put any political comments down there. This is a bolo and it sold for 
it's $59.95. The buyer was all in for $77.70. So never seen that guy before. How fun is that? Found this adorable Disney figment at Goodwill a couple months ago. Paid $11.25. I normally don't pay that much for plush, but I know figment is popular. I took a best offer of $85 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what it looks like. And it's sleepy eyed. Its eyes are closed. It's sleeping. Cuteness. Just cuteness. Major Build-A-Bear Bolo. Build-A-Bear Scarlet Witch Rare. Hard to find. Juan Davison something vision. Whoa. Never seen this one. $275 that one sold for. It says witch. Scarlet Witch. I wonder if that's like a character from a movie or a show. Anybody know? Let me know down in the comments. Paid a dollar at a yard sale. It sold for full asking price on eBay in 30 minutes. It is a jelly cat, brand new with tags, medium bashful tabby kitten. And this is what it looks like. Anything figment always sells well for me. So here is another. It's the same sleeping dragon. What did the other one sell for? The other one sold for, ooh, she sold it for... 85. This one sold for, and I don't know where she sold this. I don't know if this is eBay or not. This one is a 2020 Disney Parks. It looks the same. Epcot Figment Dream Friend sold for $129.99 plus shipping. Paid $2 for this Webkins Pegasus. Some of his mane and tail were cut and his tag had teeth marks in it but it was still sealed. So I knew the code was good. It is a um, Webkins with the code sold for $48 on Mercari. I'm telling you, if you sell plush, get on Mercari. Paid $3.99 at the Goodwill and sold after six days of posting for $130 plus shipping. New Orleans Pelicans plush hat. Pierre the Pelican. It's a hat and it's plush. That counts. Bought this for 99 cents at the Goodwill, sold in five minutes on Mercari, listed it for 300 and took a best offer of 275. Manhattan Toy Company Blue Trianosaurus Rex Vintage 1984 Rare. Um, if you have not seen my video on Manhattan Toy Company plush that sell for big money, definitely check it out. This is one of the items that was featured in that video. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Leo's Treasure Emporium. And this was sold out of her Etsy store. She said, I purchased this vintage 1999 Veggie Tales bedtime plush for $2 at a local thrift store and sold it for full asking price of $45.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The sound and light still worked. I also just did a video about Veggie Tales. A lot of them are Bolos. Go watch that video. Some of the things that I share in that video, you're gonna be like, really, what? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Veggie Tales, definitely a Bolo. What is a Bolo Buddies member? That is somebody who has joined Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. It's uh, pay by the month. And if you are at level two at $4.99 a month, a month, I pop up your YouTube channel or eBay store and I link it down in the description. So if you hear me shout someone out, definitely go down to the description, check out their YouTube channel and their eBay stores. They are Bolo Finders and they just have a lot of great information. So check that out. Flip this one for 50 cents, or no wait, flip this from 50 cents to $50. It took a few months to sell, but got full asking. He was only six to seven inches in size. It is a vintage Sonic Boom Hedgehog Knuckles. He's just a little guy. That's awesome. Found at the bins. It is a 2012 One Direction 1D I Star Teddy Bear in hoodie. Harry Styles collectible. Sold for $40. Never heard of that one. This was given to me, so she got it free. It's a vintage handmade stuffed embroidered fabric elephant. India Folk Art. Sold for $33 plus shipping. Again, Mercari Sales. Paid $3 and a lot of several. Jelly Cat, very rare, small nugget bunny. Nine inch retired, very hard to find. $50 on Mercari, buyer paid shipping. Piece of Scrap, also a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel. 
She said, I paid 25 cents at a thrift store and sold on Poshmark for a best offer of 59 plus shipping. It is a PBR bowl. <gasps> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> anyway, check it out. You guys can go read what she wrote. Paid $2 at an estate sale and sold for $80 plus 20% off eBay. So Jelly Cat Charming Bianca Kitty Cat Cream White Plush Stuffed Tags Plush. Search Bolo Buddies Jelly Cat and you're going to see some Jelly Cat that go for hundreds of dollars. I think there were a few that went for in the $800 range. Uh, just always look up Jelly Cat. But if you want to check out that video, you can see which ones go for the most money. All right. My mom got this for free at a garage sale. Lady told her it was vintage. Sold in a few hours for 45, maybe undersold it, but no exact comps or tags. My 79 year old mom and I do eBay together. She helps source and I sell a lot of her heirlooms. It's a vintage 12 inch soft cloth pastel colors with clown collar bunny with rattle, no tag. So I think, I'm not sure if it's terry cloth or cloth, but terry cloth is good. I'm guessing this probably would have sold for more than 45, but not 100% sure. I'm not super familiar with this. The Rebel Reseller, if you're watching, may be able to uh, chime in on that because she is a, she knows so much about plush. But uh, the pastel colors are usually a good thing. And I probably would have done an auction on this if I couldn't find others like it. But $45 is a fantastic return on something you got free for sure. Congratulations on all of these sales. Sold this new with tags pastel cow plush squishmallows on an offer to buyer for $40.49. Paid $8 free shipping on a YouTube auction. So she got it at a YouTube auction for $8 free shipping and flipped it for $40.49. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to let me know where your socks landed down in the comments. And I'm getting, I, I'm looking forward to some witty, witty comments down there. So that should be fun to, to check out. Thank you guys again for being here. I do have more videos like this. I already did one and I have probably more coming because I'm going to keep these plush bolos coming because I just keep getting shocked by what I am seeing in these videos. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.